Okay, so here we go again doing another beer review, Jose and Eric. Uh, this one, uh, nice little one from Three Floyds. Finally got uh, zombie dust. Oh, yeah. We're slowly yeah. but surely checking them off the list. Yeah. There's uh, quite a few that we're going to be. Um, uh, well, now that we got the, you know, some of the two big ones off the list, we yeah, start yeah, with yeah. some of the other ones mm -hmm. and really want to try Founders. Uh, is uh, one that I want to try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a really cool, um, actually, it's a really cool design on that cap. It's really, it's really funky. Uh, using the uh, Pioneer. So, yeah, three Floyds, um, zombie dust. It's a regular pale ale. Yeah. But, you know, really hopped. But you know what's funny is that I'm going to probably be uh, comparing this to um, my go-to pale ale, the Sierra Nevada pale ale. Which is a bit more of a classic, I guess. Classically yeah. pale or whatever, but we'll see how this is. Alright, All right, so check out that color. Looks good. Looks very like orange. Smells good. You smell the hops for sure. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Wow. Looks really good. That is really good. Very citrusy. Yes. Very. It's, it's slightly tart. tart. Slightly tart. Yeah, it's. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sound like a fucking fart. <laughs> it's. It's definitely a pale ale, just because yeah. it kind of has that uh, IPA tat, uh, IPA taste and smell, but obviously it doesn't. It, it's a pale ale. Yeah, it uh, this definitely does taste like a pale. Uh, it tastes a little fruitier. Yes. Uh, than uh, than you know uh, the standard you know uh, Sierra Nevada pale. Uh, this tastes like a high class pale. Ale. Yeah, it's it feels a little more refined. Mm -hmm. It's almost like these are really appropriate cups to be drinking this out of. You know, has a little bit of bite. Mm hmm. Not like an IPA, but mm -hmm. you can It's very subtle, but it's um, not very subtle, but it is subtle. And it's, it's not, kind of a, yeah. to me, it seems like a long bite. It almost seems like a long bite in the middle. I don't yes, know if I, if a I long just, bite. Yeah. It's just weird because, and then it dies down pretty much towards the end. But um, yeah, this is, um, this is really good. For those of you uh, lucky enough to live next to uh, Three Floyds or around Three Floyds, uh, where you guys get this, this is uh, very lucky. Yeah. You know, this is very, this is really good. Very good. It's totally different from, um, not totally different, but it's pretty different from the Sierra Nevada. It's, it's just, um, this is just coming in from a different direction, right, I guess right, you could right, say, right. you know? Yeah, it's, oh, well, I was just going to say, you can still pretty much tell it's a pale ale, but yeah, yeah it, it's just different. It kind of has a lingering aftertaste. It doesn't really go away for me uh, very um, quickly, but I like that. You get it savor it a little more I think I think someone's playing a tuba tuba yeah I was gonna say trombone but that's, that's not right no yeah, tuba yeah this is um it smells really good it smells really good like it could be a uh, cologne this one yeah so uh, it's got um it's got some good lacing to it even though um I don't believe this is super high in alcohol, is it? 6.4, I read. It's not super high. It's like pretty okay. Um, this is really good, though. I, I like, like it. Um, I think it would be a go-to beer for me. Hmm? But Yeah, but... Um, it's too difficult to get. It's kind of... It's yeah. one of those problems where uh, I'm glad I've tried it, but it was a, not... Uh, it's kind of... I don't want to give anything away, so it was and it wasn't difficult to get. I put it this way, in order for us to continually get six packs of this, it would um, that would be extremely difficult to get probably. If we, if we lived next to Three Floyds, then yes, or somewhere where it's readily available, then yeah, I would, uh, this would be a good beer, but... Um, I'm a Sierra Nevada man. Yeah. You know what? This doesn't, as good as this is, I don't know if this would 
take over my Sierra Nevada, you know, um, you know, go-to, you know, category because it's uh, with Pale Ales because that one is just the one that just is. It's you know what you know what this is. I think Sierra Nevada for me is a little cleaner. It's a little more cleaner as far as um, taste-wise is concerned. Uh, whereas this has a lot of stuff going on. Yes. And it kind of coats your your palate. Yes. You know, and it lingers. The taste lingers a bit. Whereas here in Nevada, yeah. it's a clean taste and it's a uh, it's almost sessionable because well yeah, I would say yeah, it is yeah, sessionable yeah, it because is sessionable. it's it's less in alcohol which isn't bad. This is a little higher in alcohol than Sierra Nevada, I believe. I think Sierra Nevada is a little like a regular Sierra Nevada is probably like five, like five something, yeah, five yeah. Or something. But um, this would still be good. This would you definitely would probably want to break one of these out for trying to impress maybe you know yeah someone or bottle just shares whatever really good friends with someone or something yeah definitely yeah so yeah really good we tried this actually yeah, I'm really happy we tried this yeah but it but then again it's like it gets hyped up and it it definitely does live up to it but I wouldn't say it's um, it's uh, the best yeah. It's really, really good. Anyway, uh, what do you rate it? Is it um, for me, this is um, it's an eight nine for me. It's it's there. It's really there. It's really close. It doesn't take a ten for me just because um, um, I don't know. Like I kind of feel like I would kind of get tired of it after a while. I don't know if I would be able to drink. You know, like with the sure about it we could split a 12 pack and, and not get tired of that and we have and we have and but with that i don't know if i could i, I kind of i'm on the fence about it, unless you know we could we actually do it one day yeah but uh we'll see you know but that's the only thing it's it's really minor things the only reason for me why it's not a 10 really minor things uh but you know what that's a great bottle it's a great looking bottle yeah it looks awesome that artwork on there it's great it's cool it's cool i i give it a nine or a ten I did like it a lot, but if you were like a blind test and you didn't know the hype and you didn't know how hard it is to get and all these things that influence your judgment um, or even taste, because you know things like that can be like make some people think it's like the greatest beer yeah. ever. But um, I've definitely had just as good beer, if not better, locally here. Yeah. Yeah, I would say you're pretty right on that. So, if you do have it to still, if you do see it, get it, get it. Don't wait. Even if you get, you know, fucked in the ass for it, as far not literally, but um, you know, <laughs> money wise, you get raped. If your wallet gets raped for it, it might still be worth it. Just yeah. you know, trying to check it off that list, yes. or just trying something different. Definitely do that. Um, it's um, it's really good. Definitely pick it up. So next one. Um, Local. This oh, yes. one is uh, kind of hard to see, but uh, there you go. Golden Road, Wolf Among Weeds IPA. Uh, this one, it's. Um, I could smell it already when I cracked it yeah. open. It's um, it's funny because uh, this is probably not their set. This is their second strongest, I would say, um, IPA. Uh, they make one that they don't bottle yet, called the uh, Darts. Uh, you know darts called? away. Darts away. There you go. That's the one. Darts away. That one is their double almost. IPA. Yeah. It almost fit. So, yeah, just um. Hey, it smells like the zombie dust. Does it? I'm trying to pour right down the middle to. Nope. It's because you I tilted. It. That's why. I didn't. All right, whatever. Anyways. Hmm. Good. Oh yeah. Oh, I've had this definitely I've, I've, I've had this before actually. Yeah, and but, we um, just uh, wanted to show everyone this one because uh, yes. for whatever reason you just don't see too many people reviewing this or talking about this one. Uh, but it's really good. It's good. Mm -hmm. You said this was you got this at Plaza Market? Plaza Market. That is uh, bitter. That is real bitter. It's like biting into a like a lemon almost. Or a hop. Hop, like just putting straight hops in your mouth when it's yeah. It's, uh, hop chewing gum, <laughs> which I think they actually make. Um, really? Maybe I know they make hop chapstick, which I kind of want to try just because I'm curious. Um, kind of expensive though. I think they're like four bucks for the chapstick. 
it's pretty expensive. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, take a look at that color. It looks pretty cool. I like it. A little golden. A little slight ambery, not really. Yeah. Um, kind of hazy. A little subtle. Yeah, definitely hazy. Can't really see it too much. Um, but it's really good. It's got a nice, clean, crisp smell to it. Yeah. I'm really, I really dig that crisp, clean smell. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really nice. Um, so, since we've had this before, do you pretty much already have a... A number that kind of floats in your head about this one, or? Hmm. I give it a. I give it a nine. Yeah. To me, this is. Um, you know what? I'll take it a step further. This is for me a ten. This is has everything that I like. Really. About IPAs. It's got. And I'm you know, actually surprised by and, that. And and you know why? Because here's the thing. What I really like about Wolf Among Weeds. More than anything, is the bitterness to it. It I, is pretty I bitter. I dig that bitterness. I really do. You could almost say it's a little unbalanced. Kind of, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You could, you could say it is unbalanced. It's a little bit more geared towards uh, the aggressive. Uh, yeah, this is a little more aggressive towards. Yeah. Um, or put it this way, this what the bitterness to this reminds me of the bitterness to Hoptimum, but yeah, no. but Hop Boy. Okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> So, but the di but the, the the difference between this and Hoptimum is huge. It, yes. It's huge. Yeah. It's just it's completely different. But the bitterness, if I compare just compare just the bitterness, one to the other, it's it's almost there. Hoptimum was really bitter. Uh, this is like like maybe a notch less. But I like that it's bitter, and I like that this is um, still an IPA. It's probably the most bitter IPA I've ever had. Which is really good, but I, mm. you know, I think a lot of people maybe wouldn't like not. that. Maybe it is kind of a it, very bitter regular IPA. Yeah, you know, and it's um, and it's funny that it's not a double. It's IPA. not a double IPA or yeah. anything like that. Which is, this is why to me it's a ten. It's kind of like a, mm. a superly aggressive yeah. IPA that's kind of superly bitter to the point of almost being imbalanced. Which is cool because I've had balanced IPAs before. Yeah. They're, they're great too, but this one. This one is really. This is uh, you're not fucking around. Yeah, yeah. It's like, 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 yeah. Put when, your when, big boy pants on. Pretty much. Yeah. It's uh, really good though. I like it a lot. You know what? This is very bitter for a regular IPA. Mm -hmm. And um, it's. I feel like. Underneath, the hops is good taste, but it's for sure like. The hops, bitterness. Bitterness. Is, like, the bitterness is like overpowering I yes but once kind of especially in the aftertaste you can really taste the flavors yeah which is kind of funny that it works that way um, because the bitterness kind of comes on strong it fades and then you can still taste it in the end almost I'm wondering maybe whoever watches this if this is readily available anywhere else besides California or, or even, even northern, Calif or yeah, even northern, northern, northern California, California or whatever. Because there are some Let northern California know. things that are that we can't get to. Uh, that's why I, I normally like mm -hmm. if if I see something that looks interesting, I might get it. Uh, but you know, if, if I don't know about it, uh, I might regret it later. But I mean, you know, I have gotten beers before that looked interesting. Definitely were not interesting. Uh, you know, and the opposite. Yeah, and the opposite. So it's the opposites just, are cool. Yeah, which is strange. Those sometimes. are really but, cool um, hidden gems. Yeah. I like those. And those are the ones that we really, you know, try to like, you know, put a little spotlight on. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. A lot of the like I said, Moylan's. Good, yeah, good, it's a good example. Or uh, even Hop Devil. I still think about the Hop Devil. Really? Yeah. You know which one uh, for me, uh, which we maybe we should try again is uh, Hop Wallop. Yeah. That was one of the ones for me that I first tried that yeah. kind of got me into the hops, and uh, it'd be kind of cool to try them again. You know. Well, yeah, that's what also. Victory was one of the first major players in this craft beer. Uh, scene because I remember all it was is just like victory because I remember the labels they have really cool mm -hmm. labels and stone stone and like these I want to say craft beers but these different takes like Heineken would make a, a red Heineken oh, yeah. yeah and that was pretty much the only thing available you know I and it's funny because I remember the first time I got uh, a barley wine which was actually an Avery barley wine because it had the flying pig 
And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Had that. that's, yeah. it, I have. It's good. Uh, but it's uh, I, I remember seeing it. I was like, yeah, hey, it was a flying pig. I just thought it was like, uh, it was like funny, you know? Yeah. And it was like at the time, I think it was only like six bucks. So I was like, you know what? I, I've had a you know like uh, strong beers. The guy told me it's pretty strong. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna I'll try it. And I tried it and it was great. I liked it. And then that's when I started you know uh, getting into the uh, the other barley wines, which is where I found Bigfoot, which is still my number one barley wine. Um, so yeah, Sierra I mean, Nevada it's just, yeah, Sierra Nevada again, right? Um, so I mean, it's just um, it's one of those ones that you know, and you know what? I we really should do a, an Avery one because I think I found one that you might like. It's um, no, actually, there's possibly two, maybe three that I think we should try that are um, that are kind of out there that people know of, but for whatever reason, you just don't hear too much talk, um, and there really should be more talk. But, but uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, so. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions or comments, just contact us. Get More us than happy to answer any question you guys have, um, even if it's not about beer. So yeah. Um, so yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. See you later. <laughs>